This is another video about jelly prints using acrylic painting, stencils, handmade stencils, uh, stamps, handmade stamps, and all the good stuff, plus some do's and don'ts about gel printing, monoprinting, and all of this printing, <laughs> okay? Welcome to the Ayala Art I Love to Paint channel. This is your artsy friend, Martha. If you're art inclined, love art journaling, acrylic painting, and mixed media, this is your channel. I clean the plate, but I am not done yet. Remember this, which is like white with a little bit of yellow? I don't know if the camera can catch it, but it's like barely there. So with the mask, I am going to put it in here and I think I want the rest pink, so with the washi tape, I'm going to attach it here. And I attach it mostly because I like to make sure that it's exactly what I want it. Some people don't care, but it's one of my do things to do in the list of do's and don'ts because sometimes you want everything just random but sometimes you want it exactly in one spot so let's say that I want this over here and now I'm going to add pink paint all over here I have two types of pink I think this neon is like more transparent we'll see I might want a little bit of silver and this is way too much <laughs> because I get carried away always all the time on everything and here we go First I reach all the corners and once I know that all the corners are covered I get into the details. If you're enjoying this video click like, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. And if this is the first time that you visit this channel I hope you find the reason to click subscribe and click on the bell so you get all the notifications and you don't miss the next video. Woo! Okay, I'm going to wait for it to dry. I'll show you after this is not so wobbly and wet. I guess I'm going to do a large deli paper. So one of the do's that I have here is don't toss away, don't destroy the bad ones. This is one that I have been keeping for a long time. It has been the picking up uh, daily paper that I had literally for a couple of years, okay? Right now it's going to be the, I am hoping, the last transformation. I am going to put this very dark, what is it, like um, Prussian blue and I'm going to use my masks, which these are handmade templates. Uh, I attach them gently with tape and I am going to be using, I'm going to be adding some um, stamping with a texture pad. Right now I have been hours going at it. <laughs> And I keep saying that is the last one, but I find more reasons to keep going and printing more. And this is the fun part of jelly printing. If you have not done so, you are going to get so addicted. I am going to have some links in the information box below for you to check out with my favorite stuff. 
If you're liking these videos, let me know. I can make always more videos about monoprinting because I totally love it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make one about all the stuff, all the prints. Because on occasion I show some, but I haven't shown all. This is amazing. I'm going to have these in pictures at the end of the video so you can see them. They are a lot of fun. Okay, I have this other one that was just like a very weird past print where I was cleaning a lot of other parts and ghost prints and stuff. And I keep them in the hopes that something good will happen mm -hmm. after a few layers. Well, this isn't necessarily a good one, but it's not either a bad one. <laughs> it's just interesting. I think if I mask this and add another layer, it's going to look really cool. Maybe white? Probably. I'll think about it. So anyway, right now, in this particular video, I'm going to be doing the second part of several like I have this weird one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I probably could frame a fish or a bird. And this is one of the, some of the parts, like for example, all of my thinking, I typically edit it out because I feel like it's like wasting time. But sometimes people want to hear the moments where I'm deciding where to go in the next step of whatever art project that I'm doing so let me know if you want to hear that because most of the time I edit it out okay I decided what to do I have this weird one I don't want to call it bad one but it's one of those that is just the cleaning daily paper for picking up paint and this other one, I worked on it to be cleaning and framing. So, what I'm thinking is I am going to use both of them on the next layer with this template, which is just basically letters. I don't know yet what color I'm going to be using, but probably yellow. Just because it brings a big punch of color. So let's do that. If I don't like it, no problem, we do it again. So I have the Prussian blue still in here, so probably it will kind of do a little bit of a green. Oh, and definitely this is going to cost, <laughs> yeah. Oh well, it's going to have some blue, definitely. Let's do a little bit of, a little bit of texture. So now we have the template, and now we're going to use this first. Sometimes I don't want the extra part of color, so I trim them, and then I have been using this envelope just to add more stains in the envelope. Not every stain is pretty, but Hopefully at the end of all the 300 layers is going to look okay. And if not, that's still, you know, a fun to see envelope. Interesting and backwards. <laughs> That's okay. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> okay, now on this one. This is supposed to be the ghost print, which is the second print in case that you're new to the gel printing. And sometimes the ghost print 
is more interesting than the first one. It depends on your taste. Some people don't care. Some people prefer it. This is pretty. It has more yellow, more interesting. I'm going to keep going with the yellow. Mostly because I have a bunch of it in here. Wow, it's picking it up. Okay, I'm going to let it dry a little bit. And then I'm going to put probably... What do we need in here? Let me see. Well, I don't really know what I want at this point. Because the colors are too like similar-ish. So I probably will let it take a break again and I'm going to pick up with another one probably this one the stuff I have in here it makes the daily paper stronger and interesting and sometimes I like that better than just cleaning with a wipe or wet napkin to let this one dry over here and now this I either clean it or it will pop backwards into the next print I might want to do now this one but I don't want this other greenish color so what I'm going to do is just clean with a clean one and let it be then I'll go with a wet napkin and this is going to be a layer of texture for this paper in the future whenever that might be click over here into the next video where it's going to be more about gel prints with stencils handmade stencils do's and don'ts about monoprinting see you there <laughs>